Bev again with another video, and this one is on our favorite subject, metabolism and weight, especially weight gain, right? So first of all, I want to say that uh, your metabolism is made up of two distinct metabolic processes, and they work simultaneously to free up or to use energy. So basically your metabolism is your body's engine and it needs fuel and the fuel is calories. But you need, you obviously want to give it high quality fuel, just like you put high quality gas into your car. But metabolism, you want it to be efficient with those two processes. Um, people call it be, being fast, but um, you want it to be efficient and you want, um, you, you want uh, this because it involves all of your physical and your biochemical activities. So obviously, it's very important, right? But both are essential to your life. So let's talk about these two processes and what they are. First of all, catabolism is a teardown or a destructive uh, mechanism, and it breaks down bio, bio uh, uh, molecules. So it takes large complex molecules and breaks them up into smaller, simpler molecules. You know, an example is taking uh, the protein that you eat and you end up with, uh, you know, amino acids, just an example. Um, so it provides energy for the growth and maintenance of cells. Okay. Over here, anabolism is kind of the opposite. Um, it builds up biomolecules. So it takes small little ones and builds them up into big one, big ones. But it doesn't require respiratory oxygen, as does catabolism. Um, so the, the thing is, this is kind of, if I did a quick and dirty summary, how much energy is produced by your body, how much energy is used by your body. So this is where we get into this ratio. And also, you can see how this catabolism helps out anabolism, right? It's all connected. Um, so examples on this, sorry, examples on this side, um, digestion, res um, respiration, blood circulation. On this side would be um, bone growth, organ tissue repair, muscle building. So you can see that they kind of uh, work together, right? Um, and obviously, I'm not going to talk about hormones, but there are hormones involved on both sides. So over here, you've got adrenaline, cortisol, uh, glucagon. Over here, estrogen, uh, testosterone, uh, human growth hormone, insulin. And that's why over here, you see, you know, those big guys, they're taking uh, anab anab Bo um, anabolic, sorry, uh, steroids, which are synthetic. Um, and what they do is they're, they're kind of uh, um, synthetic testosterone, right? So let me tell you, women, unless you're taking steroids, I don't care how much weight you lift, you're never going to look like a man. Um, but anyway, your health will be, where's my marker? Your health will be determined, as I said, by the ratio um, between um, tear down and build up. So for example, let's get into this weight thing. If you are more catabolic than you are anabolic, you are going to have, you're going to have weight gain. There's no getting around it. On the other side, if you're more anabolic than catabolic, then you're going to lose weight. So you can see how this uh, energy, right? How much are you producing? How much are you using? Are you more catabolic or are you more anabolic? Um, so these two processes ultimately determine uh, your overall ability to burn calories. And hence, that's why I have this title on my book. Are you fat making or are you calorie burning? Are you more catabolic or are you more anabolic? Uh, now, it's obviously a lot more complica complicated than what I'm giving in this short little video. But my question is, do you want to have a fat-making uh, catabolic machine? Or do you want to have um, an anabolic calorie-burning machine? So that's the big question, right? Now, 
How can I make myself more anabolic? Well, I have to say, as you age, you are going to become more catabolic. <laughs> It's a sad story. So you have the propensity to become more obese, to lose more muscle. So typically, um, catabolic exercise is cardio exercise. And anabolic exercise is weightlifting, weightlifting or uh, resistance training, okay? So what you should do as you age is do more of this type of exercise and a bit less of this. I'm not saying to do only one um, and not the other. You have to do both, but mostly here, a little bit here. Um, what else? Also, you also hear protein, right? Protein intake is very important if you want to move over to the anabolic side. And that's because um, protein increases uh, anabolism because protein drives your anabolic tissue building growth. Why? Because it is the only one of the three macronutrients that has nitrogen and you need that as a construction block. Um, so usually it's suggested that you have one gram protein for every one pound of body weight. Okay, so I hope this has helped and if you really want to know a lot more detail you can read my book. Anyway, thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.